Hey guys, how's it going? Lunath here, and welcome back to another episode of my Dark Cloud Let's Play series on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we did floors 6 through to 11 of the Moon Sea, and we also got Osmond, who is the boss of the Moon People. He actually became our ally. And we also got an admission ticket to the Colosseum, so I think we just need to do a few more floors. We're building this Sun Giant thing now as well. And then hopefully, yeah, we should hopefully be done with this uh, moon tea dungeon. So let's make our way there now and continue doing some more progress. So we should be starting out on floor 12, I believe. Uh, yes, we are. And there's six outlets to collect. Very nice. Okay, and as always, I'm going to swap back to Chow and let her basically do all of the dungeon besides obviously opening the Atlas. She can't do that. Cool, we've got a Giant's Feather. Let's go up here first. Oh, these monsters are so annoying because of the way they block. Okay, I'm going to grab those other rat that we just went past on the way back. Oh goodness, I didn't even see that extra monster. Let's take out this one first because he was trying to throw stuff at me. Like that. Oh, it sounds like he dropped the gunpowder that I need for the, going to the next floor. So I might as well take that and take that. Oh, I should probably repair my weapon. Oh, and I also should probably level it. Uh, let's go customize quickly. I think we're good. Upgrade. And then we can go down to the build-up. Let's have a quick look. Okay, it looks like she is good on those. She's good on those. Just need a lot of these things. Beast flying. Okay. So it's beast, flying, plant, and reptile. So that's flying. This is do a couple of flying ones. Okay, that's where the exit is. Ow. These guys attack pretty quick. I can't actually just stay shooting and sidestepping. Actually, we've got the powder. What am I doing? We don't need to kill monsters. Let's just grab Luna and grab the Atlo and go. So what do we get in here? We're going to get a, a big urn. Also going to grab the chest actually whilst we're here. Oh, and then I need to swap back to Chow. So we can re-hop over the gap. And then I'll swap to Luneth. Looks like there is one Atla on the uh, on the right side. I'd probably need to get a handle from a chest to actually be able to get over there. So we just we just run around, open up all the Atla in the bottom left. Oh, he's going to do that. I need to wait. Oh, I can't get past him. He's too big. Okay, let's use a giant's feather. I'm just going to attack him with Luna. Oh man. Oh. My weapon had to auto repair there. That's scary. That It was taking 5 damage every time I hit that guy. 
didn't even realize my weapon would take that kind of damage. Well, it's a good thing I did have the auto repair because if I'd broken that weapon I would have been very, very upset. Actually, I wouldn't have been upset, I would have just reloaded and had to uh, start again. Although it's turned into a wolf sword now, even at max health. Wait, is it a wolf sword? Wait. It's a lamb sword there, but it's like a wolf sword on... Oh, and now it's gone back to a lamb sword. I'm confused. I thought maybe there was a way to like bug it out to being a wolf sword the whole time by actually letting the auto repair repair it. Okay, let's open this chest. Please be a handle. And it is. Still, still going to grab both these other chests anyway. I don't know why I was hoping it'd be a handle. Okay. I'll just run around to the other bit. Grab the Atla. Let's use an item, use the handle. Oh, I see a big chest. Grab the outlet, then we'll grab the big chest. I see another big chest. Uh, oh, I don't have a key, do I? Let me, uh, I think, explosion. Nice. Oh, nice. We've got a weapon for um, Ungaga. That's kind of what we've been after for quite a while now. And it was poison. I don't know if I've got poison removal. Okay, we've got another jackal. That's uh, a weapon I can buy from the shop. But it's nice to get another one for free. Can't complain. Let's um, let's swap to Chow and let me check if I've got any antidotes. But I don't think I do. Nope. In which case, unfortunately, Luna is going to just have to be poisoned for a while. And I'll just, I'll eat food to kind of keep him alive. Okay, let's use the gunpowder. And make our way to the next floor. Wow, this floor, on this floor using a weapon reduces AB. Oh, that's not a problem, I just leveled up my weapon. Not a concern at all. Oh, I'm going to have to kill enemies again, aren't I? I hate these ones. Ow. Oh. Let's not get hit again. Okay, these are much better to fight. Oh, and I got the gunpowder, nice. And we also got the magic crystal, so we know everywhere we need to go. Let's swap to Luna. Wrong way. Open the outlet and I need to swap back quick so I don't take too much damage from poison. Okay, let's start off by going north or up. Might as well check out uh, Ungaga's new weapon as well. Oh, yeah, that's a nice upgrade. Speed, endurance, attack, everything's much higher. Ah, oh, I can't change weapon because of the, um, the limit thing. Doesn't matter, I'll just change it next time I get a chance to. Okay, 
Okay, now I think we need Osmond. Yeah, you can just fly over. Oh, nice, there's a um, pool thing here. Let's get into here and let's just get everyone kind of replenished. That needs to be. Chow definitely does, and so does Luna. Okay, now she's replenished. Let's go and grab the Atla. And then we'll swap back to Osmond. Because we'll be going back over the way we just came. Oh, actually, we might have to go this way first. Okay, I'll swap to Luna to grab the Atla. And I might as well also grab the chest in case it has a map in it. Which it does, very nice. Now we'll go back to Osmond. Okay, so the exit's right here. I just have to go back to the start and go right to grab those Atla. And I guess I could probably open some of these chests as well. Oh. Or I could shoot my gun. Basically the same thing. Okay, let's swap to Luna. Grab the Atla. Grab the chest. Grab the Atlum and then I can swap back to Osmond and if I'm quick I won't take any more damage from poison. And we can make our way to the next floor. Okay, let's use the, uh, where's the gunpowder? Let's use that. Go to the next floor. Okay, I'm going to swap back to Chow now. Let uh, her deal with all these enemies. Ow. Double owl. Oh, no, big owl, big owl, big owl, big owl. Stop, 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 please. <laughs> okay, we need to eat some food. Some premium chicken. Oh, that thing definitely was not pleasant to fight. He hurt a lot and he could rush faster than I could back away and shoot, so. Okay, let's open up the chest and I can swap to Luna to open the Atla. Oh nice, that's good to get. You can see everything on the map. Okay, what do we get? We got Claw. We'll go back to Chow now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six Atla. That might be all the Atla we need, you know. I think it might be, but... So I guess I'll probably end up going back to town anyway to resupply after this um, floor. And we'll see if we can actually build everything or not. Okay, I'm going to repair. 
Oh, wait. My game's crashed, you're bugged. Uh, my controller disconnected. Probably quite a good timing for the controller to disconnect, I will be honest. Um, not sure why. Should be fine for power, so... Okay, let me, let me go back to repairing my weapon. I'll get back to focusing on what I was doing. And we'll swap to Osmond. And fly over. And then I'm going to swap to Chow, take out the enemies. I can probably swap to Luna. Quickly grab the Atla. Oh. Grab the Atla on the chest actually and then I can swap back to Chow. Oh, nice we've got the map. Okay, so we know we're right next to the exit right now. I'm not going to swap back to Lunith yet. Um, I'm not going to do that either. We can grab this out of on the way back, I think. I think what I will do is just kill everything on the way to the bottom right until I get the gunpowder. And then once I've got the gunpowder, I'm going to just go straight to the bottom right. Okay, we've got the gunpowder, so we'll go straight to the bottom right and then we can just run back as Luna. I'm, I'm going to skip the chest as well. We'll just go. Unless there's a big chest here, which there is. Oh, wow. Maybe a new gun for... For Osmond. Is it an upgrade? Oh, it looks like an upgrade. We'll equip that. And then we'll swap to Luna. And open up all of the Atla. Okay, and... Still got three more Atla to grab and then we can go to the exit. And I think we go back to um, back to the uh, to yellow drop because I feel like we'll have most of the stuff done by now. Oh, big chest! Let's go. Let's not go. Let's run away. Right, let's use the gunpowder and then where is it? There it is. And then we can leave the dungeon temporarily and go and build some stuff. And also resupply at the shop and sell off any extra bits we don't need. Okay, so let's enter the shop. Oh, and a chest in here as well. Oh, good, nice. Let me use that on, I think we're now using them on Ruby. 
I mean, actually, maybe I should do the rest of the characters evenly. So let's put one on Umgaga. Just checking there's no chest down here. Okay, we'll do a sell. Let's see, we'll sell that. We'll buy a water. Let's just move this down and put a chicken up there. Okay, we're a little bit overkill on these repair powders. Got a nice bit of money now, at least. Check guns as well. Well, not just guns, weapons in general. Uh, we're looking okay there, actually. Do I need to resupply much? I think I'm good, aren't I? Could maybe do with some antidotes, but they don't come from me, I guess. I guess I could really use the, uh, the mighty healing if I need to. So let's go back to the factory now. Probably would have been quicker to actually warp there from, from the menu, but I might as well run now. We can go and hopefully get most of the building done. Fingers crossed. Configure. Okay, we definitely got all of the little building pieces. Oop, didn't mean to place themselves down. See if I can squeeze all of these in wherever. Okay, that seems to be everything down. Now let's see if I've got all of the individual pieces I need. Okay, so that's that one complete with an event. That one's also that one complete with an event. That's completed. Oh, maybe we're lacking a piece there. Essential part to power it. Hmm. Ah. No, that piece that we're lacking is the piece we were meant to win from the Colosseum. So that makes sense that we haven't got it. Does look like we've got absolutely everything else. So... Hopefully we can land down now. We're going to have a bunch of events and chests and stuff to grab. So having a little look around us where the chests and stuff might be. I should have come in first and then gone to the um, to the shop. Oh, here's one event. Gotch has just returned. Ah, good. It didn't quite work out this time, but that doesn't mean that the Sun Giant isn't finished. It's finished. We'll reassemble it and try again. What's up? Anything wrong? I'm sorry, but I have to drop out from this project. So then, I'll be going. Wait a minute. Sure, it's a dangerous mission, but have you got any adventurous spirit left in you? Don't you want to be a hero? Eh? Me? A hero? God, these guys are very easy to uh, manipulate, aren't they? Oh, another event. Why was the sun giant broken apart in the first place? It looked perfect. 
Don't you see? The Sun Giant was, of course, without any defects. But we overlooked one thing. Overlooked something. What was that? The power source. It was impossible to even think about moving it with an ordinary magical gem. The only power that could possibly move this thing is the legendary sun sphere that's generated on the sun only once every 10,000 years. Cool, stamina drink, that's nice. There must be more events. Yep, here's another one. Oh, that was a short event. Oh, we, we got teleported up here. Okay, so I'm just going to have a quick scout around for any more chests. Can't see anything. Let me just check if we've done all the events. Yeah, we're looking good. In which case, I think we go basically make our way back to the moon sea. And we'll probably go for the 15th floor, which I'm hoping will be the Colosseum now. And it is. Nice. Okay, so let's see what do we have to do. Excuse me. Excuse me. I can't let you in without a ticket. That's right, we got a ticket. Here you go. Ticket received. You can enter the Colosseum. I'll open the gate. Come in. It's already started. Sounds good. Huh. Holy smoke, another victory. Minotaur Joe is on a devastating streak of 38 straight wins. Is there a man or beast alive that would dare to challenge the awesome fury of this terrible force of nature? Ah, no sooner spoken than they arrive. New challengers. A motley group, but they have a fierce fire in their eyes. Competitors, let the onslaught begin. Are you foolish? Oh, courageous gentlemen, ready to... Are you foolish? Uh, courageous gentlemen, ready to face the battle of your lives? Eh, uh, Luna, the prize for the fight is the Sun Sphere. We are desperately in need of this rare artifact to complete our Sun Giant. It's ours if you can win this battle. Looks like he's the only warrior left. So all you have to do is beat him and we're good to go. No problem, right? Yeah, simple. Easy. All right, boys. It's now or never. Are you ready to meet your maker? Hey, guys. Ready to go? Yeah, yeah. We're good. Now for the 39th match. Young men risking their lives for glory. Can their will triumph over their unyielding, under this unyielding force? Ready, men? Go. Not too sure how we're going to deal with this fight. You go first, Luna. <laughs> what a coward. If it gets too tough, switch to me. Alright, fair enough. Okay, so let's start off by just running around. Avoiding getting hit. And we'll hide behind these kegs. And I'm also going to swap to Goro. I see he's my hardest hitting guy. So I can now go in and... Oh, I didn't reach him.
Come on, get a drink. Okay, so we hit for 92 damage. I have no idea how much health he's got, but I think this is going to be a really long fight. Oh, he's drinking again over there. I didn't realise. Could have gone over there and hit him. Come on, drink the wine keg. Okay, bit by bit we'll slowly work his life down. Come on over here. Oh, that one, okay. Oh, oh, I did get him. Nice. Okay, he takes uh, double the damage when he's not pumped up as well. Oh, I might have... I'm not going to make it to him in time, am I? Oops. Okay, so if I um, if I let him drink, he basically gets the stamina. But if I hit him after a little while, he, the uh, the stamina thing he has wears off, so I do more damage. So essentially, I need to not mess up at all, and it'll make the fight way quicker. There we go, 184 damage. Ooh. Let's bring him over to these. Let's also repair the weapon. Okay, let's get the hit in. Nice. You're going for the one over there. I uh, wasn't ready for that. Oh, I got the hit on at least. Oh wait, is he just going to stay running into a corner now or something? Why is he just running? Smack him again. Oh. Maybe he's trying to bait me by pretending to run. Come over here, get your wine. Smack him like that. Okay, now he seems to run away. Let's try, um... Let's just try swapping to Chow, I think. Whilst he's running. Because I can just... Oh. Okay, no effect. Let's not do that then. Go back to Goro. I'm not sure if when he's just like purely running away whether I can just hit him or not. Is there any way I can kind of get him to not move so much? Is there anywhere on the wall I can maybe trap him? Maybe I could trap him in the corner by uh by the door if I did it right. Kind of chase him around that way a bit. Oh, okay, that was it. Nice. Oops. Finally, the earth-shattering fury of the indomit indomitable Minotaur Joe is quenched. He has fallen. His was the record-breaking streak of 38 straight undisputed victories. The new champion of the Colosseum is... The Steel-Hearted Beastmaster Luneth. Yay!
Now hopefully we'll get the reward of a sphere. Is there a brave soul that would dare to challenge the young hero? Please no. That was easy, huh, Luneth? Yeah. So, let's see the sun sphere. Okay, let's go back to yellow drop now. Now we can complete the sun giant. Why don't you assemble it on your own? Wait, do I actually have to assemble it? Please, please, please no. Oh, I see some chests I want to grab though. Oh, it's kind of like assembled itself, I think. Or is that what I've done? That's what I've done, it's an absolute mess. I'm going to grab the two chests and I'm kind of hoping that I could just, if I put the uh, sun sphere in maybe, it would do it for me if I have to put it all together. And then, uh, dang. Okay, I just got a fruit of Eden, I guess I can use that on Goro. Deserves it after that last fight. He did a good job. Oh, and um, I guess I can also use this on one of the uh, characters who can still use them. Where is my Fruit of Eden? There we go. Right, there was a chest somewhere up. I can't put myself down here. Oops, there we go. There was a chest somewhere up here. I'm going to go grab. Can't remember exactly where though. I just saw it when I was in the uh, up the tower. Is it up here? Ah well, doesn't really matter too much. Let's go to the configure and assemble and stick this in. So, is that us finished or do we actually have to assemble it? We're gonna have to assemble it, aren't we? Uh, AML, AMR, FTL, okay. okay so this is a body. Body goes there. Head goes there. Now we've got the right arm. I presume, is that our right or his right? I guess it's his right. Because it looks like, um, looks like that wants to go that's his left one and it looks like that wants to be on the um, this side sort of thing. So that goes there. And then the left one will go there. Wait, is there any extra space? No, I can't go any further up. Can't even dump this anywhere, can I? To get it out of the way. If I put the leg up there for now. Okay, so we've got what I believe is the right arm.
Okay, I want to get this there. So I need to move that foot out of the way. So that goes there. That obviously goes there, I guess. T I R and H G R. What would H G R be? Hand. It doesn't look like a hand. <coughs> hmm. Maybe some bit for the leg. Okay, well let's get these out of the way. Do the obvious thing, which would be that would go there. And then I guess these go somewhere between. Does that go there? That looks like it went in there. So this will probably go in here. And then I guess maybe that goes down there and this goes in here. And does this go on the other side? And then the lookout? What's the lookout do? Does that look correct? Because that definitely, yeah, that definitely has to go in between. It does seem to have like a connection. So that looks like it's built. If you were to ask me. I guess seeing as nothing's being triggered, I have to come out. Yeah, there we go. Okay guys, in line, front and centre. Roger. Okay, okay now listen up, this is the plan. Right now it seems like there's big trouble on Blue Terror. A monster called the Dark Genie is destroying the planet. This is where we come in. Boone, send the data here. There, base that dark heaven castle, an evil castle floating in the clouds. It used to be the castle of the east. The dark genie lifted it with magic and is now using it as his own. And he has company. Flag Gilgister, officer of the east, Lagoon Empire Army. His ties with the genie unknown. Now, the mission. Dark Heaven Castle is surrounded by a thick cloud created by his dark energy. This cloud is not easy to penetrate. However, that's not going to stop us. My sun giant can punch through that dark cloud with no problem. Gee, I wonder if that's easy if it's that easy. Enough with that talk, it's perfect. The sun giant became a perfect machine when the sun sphere was installed. There is nothing to fear. But it broke in the test run. Yeah, I'm still a little shaky. No more breaking into pieces, I hope. Enough already. Stop the whining and let's get ready to attack Dark Heaven Castle. All in position. Roger. Luneth. You go get ready for the battle too. Let me know when you're ready. Um, I guess that means we do a little bit of shopping. Get ourselves fully resupplied. Uh, 
don't need all those extra bits. Put that there and that there. Okay. Are we ready? Almost, but not yet. Yeah, I actually think this might be a good point to uh, just save it up. We can uh, do that next episode, hopefully. So, yeah, I'm going to do a quick save. And we'll save over file 3. And file 4. And then, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. So... See ya.